Hello and welcome to another iMovie Muzzle Flash tutorial. Yesterday I talked about the action pack from roadypolis.com. The day before that we talked about Action Essentials 2. And the day before that we talked about Photoshop. And we even mentioned a few other techniques to make muzzle flashes in iMovie. Today's focus is going to be if you absolutely cannot spend any money in getting special effects. This is going to be video footage from footagecrate.com. It's all free. It's all good. If you missed any of the previous episodes because of YouTube's horrible new subscription feed thing, just click on my channel. There's a playlist on there and you can catch up quickly on what you missed. But today we're going to be talking about footagecrate.com. Now this is a place where you can get free special effects that are all pre-keyed. Remember, pre-keyed means blank backgrounds. And that's what we need to use in iMovie. So, go to Google and type in footage crate. Once it shows up, click on the first link that appears, footagecrate.com. It'll take you to this web page here. It has a bunch of royalty-free effects, which means you do not have to give them credit for stuff like that when you're trying to monetize your videos to make some money. Click on the muzzle flashes links. It'll take you to this page here. And this has a whole bunch of muzzle flashes that you can use. Some of them are in slow motion, some of them are in full speed, some of them include shell casings as well. I don't personally like those, I like to put in the shell casings myself. But here are muzzle flashes for you. So click on one you like, download it, they provide links for you, a pretty easy web page to use. It'll show up in your downloads folder or wherever default folder you've selected. And it'll show up as a .zip file, so you have to double click on it to open it up. Once you've extracted it, you then can see an example of what you've just downloaded. Now these are really short movies, they uh, only last like a few frames, and that's perfect. That is ideal for iMovie. So now let's begin our work in iMovie. Well, we have our footage downloaded, so let's import it, file. Import, Movies, go to where you saved the movies. Now what we're going to do to import it is make sure we have this Optimize Video Box unchecked. We do not want it checked. Also I'm going to create a new event and I am going to call it Footage Create and click Import. Now here we have our footage nice and organized in an event called Footage Create in our event library. To make sure we're able to do these special effects, make sure you go to the top of your screen, click on iMovie, click on Preferences, and under the General tab, make sure the Show Advanced Tools box is checked. Now highlight the segment you want from your footage and put it into place in iMovie. All you have to do is drag and drop it. Once you let go of the mouse button, this will pop up. Select Picture in Picture. Now you can drag this and move it around the screen. You can also drag it using these outer arrows here. Now currently it's oriented the wrong way. There are a couple ways to fix it. If you are scrolling your footage and you see this little gear appear, you can grab that and click on cropping and rotation. Then you can hit these arrows and you can rotate it 90 degrees. Click done when you're done. Each arrow click will rotate it 90 degrees. Click on it twice to rotate it a total of 180 degrees. And you can now have the muzzle flash pointing the correct way. If you do not want to rotate it using the arrows, one other method is to double click on your footage, go to video effect, and clicked flipped. Click done and your footage is flipped another way. Remember when you're applying a video effect to iMovie you can only apply one at a time. So I'm gonna put the muzzle flash a little bit like that. Now one thing I do have to note 
is not all the video files that you find from footagecrate.com is going to be pre-keyed. And that goes the same with any other video files. Sometimes they say it is pre-keyed when really they mean that it is keyable. There's a difference. Pre-keyed means clear background. Keyable means you can get rid of the black background with a more advanced computer program. Some of them just don't work in iMovie, but I found that the ones from Action Essentials 2, roadiepolis.com, both of which I talked about in earlier episodes, and a nice chunk of footage from Footage Crate, all have the ability to work in iMovie. So that's the little disclaimer there. Remember that not all footage will work in iMovie, but a large portion of them do. Let's make this gunshot still look a little more realistic. One little trick that I've been mentioning in most of my videos is I go to the exact frame where the gunshot is going off. I highlight that, right click on it, hit cut, right click in between the segments, hit paste, readjust the muzzle flash as needed. With that highlighted middle segment, double click on it, go to video effect, and apply glow. You can apply the same effect to this one above here, but remember if you already applied flipped, you can't apply glow again. Let's not forget our sound effects. If you have them saved in your iTunes library, you can just click on this music note down here. Click on it. I have a library playlist called sound effects. I'm going to type in Glock. Drag that in place by holding down the mouse button. Now you have to make sure you're watching these little segments here. If these lights go on, that means your volume is too loud and, to, and you'll have to decrease the volume. Double click on your green audio bar, go to audio and decrease it to an appropriate amount. One other sound effect I sometimes add are shell casing sound effects, even though you might not see the shell casing I am attempting to do a shell casing tutorial in iMovie, but it just doesn't live up to my standards for special effects. So when I finalize the method that I'm going to show you guys, don't worry, I will upload it. Be patient. Let's see if I come up with a good enough one to show you guys. So as I mentioned earlier, Action Essentials 2 costs $100. Rhodey Polis special effects that I mentioned last episode costs around 30 to 40 or 20 with a coupon and footage crate is free of course with each of these you get what you pay for so the decision is yours with that information if money is an issue so I hope footage crate helps you out in tomorrow's episode I'm going to talk about removing backgrounds from photos without using Photoshop I'm going to bump that episode up a day early thanks to some YouTube comments. So yes, I do read your YouTube comments. You have a question, you have a request, put it down below. And of course, read the description. There's sometimes very important info in there. In the description, I'm going to talk about why sometimes iMovie will freeze when I tell it to play. As you can see, the special effect paused when I tried to tell iMovie to play. Let me show you that one more time. I'm going to hit play using the spacebar and it froze. Now that is normal. The reason why that happens is iMovie is not a very powerful program. It has a lot to keep track of. And so sometimes iMovie will lag behind. I assure you if you export this video file it should play just like normal. So more information about that in the description if it's still a little confusing. Speaking of exporting it, let me show you the final result as we exit the tutorial. Thank you for watching. So, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I make an iMovie tutorial every two weeks. Make sure you hit like so other knows this is a good tutorial. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to get updates that way. Make sure to check out the description. I put a lot of work into the description. It provides a nice outline for the tutorial. 
frequently asked questions are answered in there. If your question is not answered in the description, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to respond. If you have a special effects request, also post that as a comment. So once again, thanks for subscribing. I look forward to helping you with your movies and your future projects.